Want to improve your health and increase your well-being? Let me show you how. The there was a recent study that was able to link viewing art and uh, benefits on the brain and, and the body. They found that people that uh, viewed art or created art uh, showed significant improvements in um, critical thinking, reduction of anxiety and depression, and an overall satisfaction in their life. So um, I always find that it's important to bring the kids to, to uh, art galleries. So we like to go to Ottawa because Ottawa has wonderful National Gallery of Canada. Another thing that increases your rate of happiness is spending quality time with your family and taking a little bit of time out of your regular day-to-day -day life. So this past weekend uh, for our March break, our spring break here in Montreal, it's very winter-like, we went and brought them uh, to the Museum of Nature and the National uh, Art Gallery of Canada and uh, they had a great hands-on experience at both places. It's very children friendly. And uh, we'll show you some of our clips. National Gallery of Canada, they had a great activity for, uh, I guess anybody could do, we actually all did it together which was a lot of fun, but uh, they had some activities for younger kids where they could make a, a little statue uh, out of pipe cleaners or they could carry around a doll and find the doll in the painting, but what we chose which was a lot of fun was a mystery box. So inside the box they had two little holes that you could put your hand and inside were, I think, five objects, and you had to feel blindly what the objects were, and then they told you the room uh, that uh, you would go to, and in this room there would be a, a painting. So you'd have to try to find the painting that you that had those objects in it. So we all we all tried, we all fit in, we all made our guesses, and then we guessed our painting, and then you got a prize at the end if you got the right painting. Do you have your card? So this was Luke's painting that we all had to try, which is, doesn't say, but it looked like this. So it was a lot of fun. So they had a pillar inside and a piece, piece of cloth so you could, uh, you had to, anyway, an animal so you had to find something like that. I thought it was a great idea to make art really, really engaging for the kids. So we all got to pick a card. So Jack picked this card. You want to show your card? This is the painting that he liked. Oh, it says in the back. This is called Cry from a Night Train Number 2 by Fritz Brenneter. Jack uh, seems to be more of a fan of abstract art, eh Jack? Jack took a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures, great pictures. You like that one, eh? Um, he took a really, really great pictures which he's put up on his Instagram, which is private, you know, because he's only seven. Um, but anyways, he, it was fantastic, and so it was nice to, to, to share with the kids what they thought, um, had conversations about the pieces, uh, what they liked about it, how it made them feel. This visit, as opposed to the last time we went when they were a bit younger, we were able to enjoy the whole museum. Before it was like a lot of freaking out, and we had to run out of the museum with one kid totally melting down. Uh, this time they were all really engaged. So if you think that maybe, you know, your kids are too uh, too young or kids don't appreciate art. That is not true. They love it. They love art. And, and, and as I said from my intro, uh, it's incredibly positive for the brain. So I'll just leave you with a few more clips from our trip. Uh, we also, we went to, um, went to a guitar store. We did some swimming. We walked around downtown Ottawa. So uh, Leave me a comment if there's any um, museums that you'd like to recommend, different cities. We like to travel a lot in our minivan. Uh, or for others to, to see any museums that really stand out in your city. Uh, so leave a comment and a like and, you know, subscribe. Okay. Bye.